Daddy's not going with you. Daddy's got to go somewhere else. You're going to have to go help. Okay? Help me. You're going to have to help Miss Tina. I'm leaving her in your hands. Little bug, you better mind. You better be sweet, okay? I'll see y'all after dark. Last week's show focused on a family tradition of me harvesting a deer in my food plot with Daddy. And also Dallas and Casey and I and the kids having a good time. Well, there's one thing about that plot, you've got to have a south wind to hunt it the most effective manner. Wind changed. We had a couple more days before I had to go back to work, so we decided to go hunt with some friends of ours, Tina and Gary Wolf. Been helping them manage their property for about a year now. They've got a tremendous piece of land, got several bucks that we had placed on the hit list, some five and six year old bucks that that was a target for their buck harvest this year. Well, there's two deer that need to be taken out that are six year olds. This is, this is top. He got a G4 on his left side and that little kicker on his G2 on his left side is how you'll know him. But that deer back in September was, he was 230, 240, easy. He's run down, he's gonna be run down now, but you'll know him by that little kicker. We've had this lease on this property about three years. We have trail cameras on all the fields and uh, we have a feed at every field and uh, we're running those cameras year round. I never take the cameras out, I run them year round. Um, we keep try to keep a record of what we're seeing. Um, we've enjoyed the trail cameras because it really tells us what, what's on the property. It's hard to see that G4 because it lays in, he has to turn his head sideways. Well, you'll know him, he's long and deep. You, you, you'll know it when he walks in. That kicker is absolutely no mistake and that's only deer here like that. Kill him. I am a walking miracle in the fact that uh, about eight years ago I was in an accident and I broke my back and the doctors told me that I, there's a, there was a huge possibility that I didn't really even be able to walk, much less hunt again. And uh, I've actually proven them wrong. I am totally mobile and able to, to function and survive from day to day. We have uh, really learned to enjoy life a lot more. My daddy has made it possible for me to continue with my life as normal. I feel 
get positioned right. She can only... Well, first of all, I want to congratulate you on such a fine buck. Thank you. This is the epitome of deer management right here. Okay. I mean, you're talking about a six-year-old deer. You got a, a bunch of trail cam pictures of him. Actually, Chuck told me when we went to go hunting, he said there's two deer on this place that are on the top of the list, and this was the very top of the list. This is a six-year-old deer. We think we're going to check the jawbone here in a minute, and I cannot believe that he walked out and put on a show like he did. I mean, that was just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. Number one on the hit list. That's pretty cool. It's been an honor. Thank you Oh very my much. gosh, it's been a pleasure. Been a, I've had a great weekend. Great two days of hunting. It's, it's always a pleasure to me being able to go and hunt with, with people like you guys. Oh, so, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. We've had a, an absolute wonderful weekend. Let's, wonderful. Let's take him back to camp and show him off. Let's do it. We got bragging rights. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Is that the right one? That's, yeah. He broke his little bump yeah, off. Yeah, right there. That's the only reason I couldn't identify him right off. I told you. I couldn't see it. He had broke it off. He broke yep. his bump off. Oh, yeah. Girl. Yeah, Man, I knew he was big. Yeah. Thank you so much for helping us. Get you some of that, baby. Get, get it, dog. Get you some of that. Hey, come here. Did you have fun? Come here. Oh, oh got to lift her. Mm-hmm. Did you, mm -hmm. did, you up. did you snore? Uh-huh. Her snored. Did you mind everybody? Did you mind everybody good? Yes, sir. You know, as a land manager, I don't see how we made it for so many years without having trail cameras. It makes a world of difference when you can have something in the woods monitoring the deer 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and Gary and Tina are professionals at it. They probably have 10 or 15 cameras running at all times, so when we were going through their survey at the end of September, we had multiple and when I say multiple, I mean thousands of pictures of all of the bucks that were visiting their property. As many trail cameras as we got out, we're seeing deer this year that uh, we've not even got on trail cameras. So I was surprised about that. You know, one thing that I'm learning, as soon as you think you know it all, they throw you a curve. Guarantee they've been running trail cameras five on that one as well. Um, for years. I've looked at all of them. Thousands of pictures. This deer, we had no idea that he was here. He showed up yesterday afternoon on our doe harvest mission. So you just, you don't ever know what's going to show up when it gets to the rut. 20 and a half wide. You know, just putting a point limit on your deer, in my opinion, is really not the best. Try to figure out He's almost 23 on that one. Try to figure out something once you look at their body weights, look at their antler conformations. Try to come up with some criteria, five inches, that help set your deer on your property apart from everybody else. You know, you can't just say, if he's got four points on one side, that's probably gonna be a, a two-year-old deer. You know, come up with a, he's got a 16 inch main beam, six inches, or he's 16 inches wide, or he weighs 180 pounds. You know, come up with two or three things. If a buck is 16 inches wide, or if he has five and a half inch bases, or if he has a main beam that's 18 inches long, if he weighs 180 pounds, if he meets two or three of those criteria, then go ahead you know that deer falls into that category where he's a where he's a shootable buck. Six. But in Alabama, you get a four-year-old buck that scored right at 130 as an eight point. You've done your job. Do you have fun? Mm -hmm. Do you have fun going to find that deer for Mr. Gary last night? 
it had been shot in good, I wouldn't have had to find it. But we had to go find it. Yes, we did. <laughs> Gotta get on old Chuck. Let him loosen up a little bit. I am what I am. <laughs> if you sit me down, I'm gonna talk like this. <laughs> get trails, get pine plantations, nothing can be better. That'd have been good if he hadn't have just bulldozed the camera. <laughs> 